What's up everybody? It's Steph Hendel. I'm excited to be here. I am in Southern California hanging out and I wanted to share one thing with you that I wish I had known sooner because in I'm sharing it in hopes that it will save you a lot of time, energy, stress, and mostly frustration about the weight loss process. So if losing weight is something that you are interested in, getting in better shape, feeling healthier, and also doing that, not just because you're gonna look better, cause yeah, you'll look better, which is great, but the more fulfilling part of it is you'll actually have the energy, the motivation, and the emotional level that will allow you to fulfill your life's purpose, right? So that's what it's really all about for me. The reason I do the work I do is not just so people can lose weight. I do the work I do because I know that the people that I work with, they have a big mission on earth and they've got a lot that they've been put here to do. And when they don't feel their best in their body, when their confidence level is low and when their weight is not where they want it to be, they can't fully step into that true power because weight's not just about weight. Weight's really seriously about the belief systems that you hold and that goes into your relationships, your career, your finances, and your body. It's part of all of it. It spans all of those things. So there's a deep importance to that. Regardless, this is the one thing that I want to share with you. Um, it's something I wish that I had known ahead of time. It would have saved me a lot of time, money, energy, and frustration. So um, I would find myself doing a workout Tell me if this is you. Tell me, have you have you ever experienced this or felt this yourself? I do my workout, I get up in the morning, feel really motivated, like today's the day, I'm getting my health under control, I'm gonna lose this weight, I'm gonna feel really good, and then I'd eat breakfast, breakfast was good, I'd eat lunch, check. Check, lunch was good, breakfast was good. Dinner time would roll around, and either dinner was the flop, or after dinner was the binge and the overeating. Have you ever over ate? or binged. Would love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, and if you say no, <laughs> I know you're lying <laughs> because we've all done it. And I used to do it a lot. I used to binge eat and overeat like crazy. Almost every single night around 5 or 6 p.m. you would find me like all up in my cabinet and I'd be stuffing my face with food. And it was actually kind of funny because I'd go out to these random like shopping trip outings and I'd come back and I'd look at the, the groceries that I got and I was like, you know what? Literally like none of this is food. Like none of this is sustainable food. I just went out to get all this crap, right? And I'd go to Whole Foods because I'd be like, it's Whole Foods. It's healthier. I'm going to give myself a healthy little snack. But in reality, it was crap. And even if it was healthy food, I was eating so much of it that it wasn't healthy anymore. So <laughs> I come home with this big bag of food that was not really food. It was just snacks and desserts. And I just binge eat and overeat on that stuff. And when it gets to that point, if you've ever had yourself at this point before, Odessa's here. What's up, Odessa? How you feeling? Excited to see ya. If you've ever had this feeling before where you're just overeating um, and you know you did the workout, uh, the intention was there, you ate a couple really good meals, you snacked well, but then it came down to the binge, right? The binge eating, the overeating, and this is something that, it's not something you do with friends, right? It's not like a party thing, it's not like, hey, let's all like hang out and overeat and binge eat together. This is something you do on your own. It's like a, a secretive process, and you don't want anybody to see. I would hide in my closet, and I had the food closet, and just eat the food. I didn't want anybody to see me doing it. I didn't want a one person to know that this was part of my lifestyle and my habit, because it was embarrassing to me. So. This was a process that I went through alone, and that felt, number one, that felt awful, but number two, when you find yourself in that space where you did the workout, you ate a couple good meals, your intentions were there, you were feeling good, it's not about eating another healthy meal or getting a new recipe plan or a meal plan, right? And it's not about getting in another workout. Right? You don't need a fitness plan. You don't need a food plan. Um, what you need in that space is you need an emotional fitness plan. So I call it emotional fitness. That's where you are actually um, doing workouts for your mind and your brain and your emotions 
daily. Because the reason that somebody is gonna overeat or binge eat is self-sabotage. And when self-sabotage comes out, no food plan and no workout can fix self-sabotage. And you can go through this for like 30, 40, 50, 60 years of your life and never get it under control if you don't start doing emotional fitness workouts. Okay, it's like if you keep trying to mask it with regular workouts and healthy meals, you're never gonna get it under control. Melissa's like, so true. Yeah, right. We've all been there. And the problem that I see for most people is not that they don't have the motivation or the drive or the desire. I, the problem I see is that nobody's understanding that you have to practice emotional fitness in order for you to break through your weight loss blocks. And doing that, once you finally start working yourself out emotionally, and honestly, if you started working out emotionally more than you work out physically, you would see way more drastic changes. Now, I like to pair the two together, and that's just like the one-two punch of awesomeness weight loss that's just like, whoosh, this falls right off your body, really powerful, but you can't just do the workouts physically and not do the emotional workouts, right? You're never gonna get it under control unless you figure it out emotionally. So, the one thing that I wish I knew sooner was that you gotta do these emotional workouts and you gotta do them regularly, consistently. There is a power in consistency. So the more you are consistent with these emotional things, because what you're doing essentially is you're reprogramming your brain. So you have these thoughts and these beliefs that are stopping you. And a quick analogy, I like to picture this as like a giant snowball and it's rolling down a hill and it's gaining momentum and it's going, 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 going. And this is moving so fast because you're doing the workouts and you're eating the right food and it's amazing. And then all of a sudden, boom, huge wall, huge wall. The snowball hits a huge wall and it just obliterates. And that huge wall is your emotional blocks and your limiting beliefs and the emotional workouts that you're not doing. So the way to keep the momentum going and the snowball moving, which is where you start seeing massive results and massive changes in your body and your health and your energy and your lifestyle and the impact you make on the world and the relationships that you have and the money that you make and the job and how fulfilling it is to you, that happens when you start doing emotional workouts. That's the one thing I wish I knew sooner and I have to share with you because if you continue to just do workouts physically and you just continue to try and eat the right foods, you're gonna suffer and you're gonna suffer for years and I don't want that for you. I want you to have the healthiest, most amazing, most energizing, fun, fulfilling life that you can possibly have. Like my mission here is to make sure that you stand in your greatness and make sure you fulfill your life purpose with the energy you need and the health you need in order to do it. I'm so like, that's what I do what I do because you've got a purpose and I'm here to make sure that you have the resources to actually fulfill it and actually live it out because it feels freaking amazing when you are truly living in your life's purpose and when you're living holistically, you've got the relationships, you've got the career, you've got the finances, you've got the health, and you've got the lifestyle. And when you have all those things together, watch out world, watch out world. Big impact coming from that person. So here's what I want you to do. Um, I want you to note that when I did this, so when I started working out emotionally, <laughs> emotional fitness, when I started doing this, what I did was a six step process. I created a six step process. I want you to write that in the comments below. Six step process. I started doing this six step process to moving through my emotional limits, my emotional blocks, my emotional barriers that kept getting in the way of that snowball of momentum that kept picking up and I was like, I might actually lose weight. And then boom, the emotional block comes up. The thing stops you, it stands in your way. You binge eat, you overeat. Maybe you're just going out with coworkers and stuff and you're drinking too much or you're eating too much and you just know it and you just don't feel your best. You're waking up in the morning, you're getting dressed. You don't like how you look in your clothes. You don't like how you feel in your body. You don't like how you look in the mirror. You're avoiding the mirror. You're avoiding photos. You're avoiding everything and that's not you standing in your power. That's not you being in your greatness. That's not why you're here. You are here to be a leader, an inspiration, somebody who is really standing in their purpose and their power. And that comes from feeling good. The foundation is feeling good and that starts with having a healthy body that's full of energy, 
full of vibrancy and that comes from working yourself out emotionally. So that is the key. You got to know about that. Um, so I created the six step process of moving through it. And it's a workout that I do every day for my brain and my emotions. And this is something that I teach my clients in the body built by love course. So if that's something you're interested in finding out more about, if you want to learn the six step process, you want to start putting it into action. If you're somebody who finds themselves like binge eating, overeating, just going crazy at the grocery store. Do you also find yourself bringing large bags home from Whole Foods that are full of snacks and desserts and like nothing that's nutritionally actually good for you? I'm like, well, it's gluten free, so it's fine. <laughs> no, I play that game with myself all the time. And it feels uh, like out of alignment because your soul knows, your soul's like, no, this is not what I want. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, and let me just tell you that since I've been doing these this six step process regularly for working myself out emotionally every day, my life feels incredibly different. Like it's so much easier to keep my weight under control. Um, I'm able to maintain it, be sustainable, be consistent, and it feels just freaking great. Like it feels good and it allows me to fully stand in my power and my purpose and do what I'm here to do, which is serve you guys and help you to lose weight and help you to feel your best. And if I'm not doing the work, you're not doing the work. So I'm here to do the work every day and show you um, being an example of exactly what this process does be the vibrancy be the health be the clarity be the energy and I want to share that process with you it's amazing if you ever find yourself struggling with overeating binge eating anything just eating too much um, or skipping workouts or whatever just having a hard time finding the drive and the motivation to actually follow through then you've got to start doing this you must start doing this and do it daily because it compounds. The more consistently you do it, the more results you get. You know this about anything that you've ever been successful in your life. You did it consistently and regularly. So in closing, I just want to say that please save yourself the years that it took me and the frustration and the stress that it took me. Save yourself that time. Just get the six steps. Start applying them now. It's better and faster than workouts. It's better and faster than food. It's super important. It's everything. And it's not just about your weight and your body. It's about your relationships, your career, and your finances. These, all these things will improve when you improve this area of your life. So would love to share that with you. If you're interested in that, that's a part of my Body Built by Love course. Just shoot me a private message and I'll give you information on how to get into the course. It's an application process. Not everybody gets in. Um, it's very, we're very tenacious about who we put in there because we get ridiculous, fast, rapid, amazing results. Um, so with that, we are keeping the group small and I give personalized attention to everybody and make sure everybody gets ridiculous results. So. Um, it's part of an application process and I encourage you to apply if this spoke to you. I also encourage you to leave me a comment below if you got any value out of this video, if you understand where, where I'm at or where you've, you've been in that space before, you're there currently now. And if this can help somebody, if you know one person that this could help, share it on your page. Because it's, we're all here to make the world a happier, better, more fulfilled place and I'm excited for that. So I will see you in a video soon. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I cannot wait to see you go to your next level of health and energy and success and everything and just feel freaking amazing in your body.